Now that we have all of our solute in the flask, the third and final step is to simply fill the flask with water. Now, when we do this, we want to make sure that we are not adding too much water. Now, in this case, the proper amount of solution that we want is we want a 500 milliliter solution. Now, that does not mean that we're going to add 500 milliliters of water. We're going to add water to this until the total comes to the line at 500 milliliters. Uh, if I added 500 milliliters of water, it would actually be a little bit more since I already have some solute in here. Okay, so again, we're not adding 500 milliliters of water. We're adding water until the total is 500 milliliters. Now, when you add water and make a solution, you always want to use deionized water instead of regular tap water. Regular tap water has a lot of impurities in it, such as chlorine ions and calcium and magnesium ions. And we don't want those in our sample. And so we're going to add the deionized water to it. So we're going to take some deionized water. And then we'll slowly and carefully pour the deionized water in. Now I like to get this about half filled. When it's about halfway filled, I like to stop and then swirl it around. Now what I'm doing right now is I'm just making sure that all of my sample is dissolved because it's much easier to swirl and dissolve your sample when this is half full than if we could fill this all the way. Okay, now once it looks like all of my sample is dissolved, then I'm going to go ahead and continue filling. Now I'm going to do this carefully because once this gets to the point where the water comes up to the neck, that level is going to rise very, very quickly. I'm going to need a little bit more water here to finish this off. And a little bit more. Okay. Now we're getting close to the neck, so I'm going to go slowly keeping in mind where that mark is. There's that mark. Now, I want to make sure I go really slowly here because if I goof and if I go over the line, I can't fix that. There's no way I can do it because I can't just take the water out because now my solute is mixed in with the water. So I'm real careful to stop well before I get to the line. And then for my last part to get up to the line, I'm just going to take an eyedropper and some more DI water and I'm going to drop this in making sure that I do not go over the line. And once I've done that, I can simply put my cap on and swirl it up, and then I'll have my proper solution.